Hi, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kimberly and I teach the parent education class online. I've had thousands of clients over the years and I would like to share with you an app that I found out about from one of my clients and the name of the app is called Kid Coach. This is not a sponsored ad or anything like that. So if you're interested in learning more about Kid Coach, keep watching. Let's jump right into it. Head over to the App Store and type in Kid Coach, and we'll see what comes up. So it looks like the top suggestion there, thinking questions for kids. Let's take a look here. Gets five stars, but it only has two ratings, which doesn't mean it's bad. It just means a lot of people don't know about it yet. So this definitely looks like the app that we want to download. So go ahead and get that downloaded. And for me, I just double click just so you know, I believe this is only available for iPhone. I tried to look it up on Android and it doesn't look like it is available. All right, we're going to go ahead and open it up and this is what it looks like. So it tells you that there are hundreds of quick, fun and thought provoking questions. So here are a few questions. You can take a look at those when you're ready to go to the next part. Go ahead and click on that next button at the bottom of the screen. You'll see that there are some reviews, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and get started by entering just your first name and then the email address you'd like to use. For this one, I'm using my business account, which by the way, if you have any questions or want to email me, that's not a private email, that's my law firm's email. I'm not gonna share my password, but just so you know, you may wanna click on that I to make sure you typed it in correctly so that you can get back in. So it's creating an account for me now. Then it's gonna ask how I heard about the app. For this, I'm going to go ahead and say friends and family. If you're watching this, um, you can choose whichever method you used. It says your two-week trial has now started. So go ahead and say okay to that. I don't allow things to send me notifications, but that's my personal preference. If you want to be reminded to have a conversation with your child, you can. There are a few different plans you can choose from. You can try it out for the first 14 days and see if you like it. $5.99 a month or 20 bucks a year. There is a limited time offer. Just a reminder, this review is not sponsored. I'm paying the same amount you would pay. So keep going through. There's all different types of topics you can see on here. The most popular questions that people are discussing with their children right now. And in the bottom corner, you can see that some of those are different difficulty levels. So easy things to talk to your kid about medium, and they have recently added things that are more difficult than those would be called hard. Topics like creativity, philosophy, debating, communication are all included in the app. That I would just do some scrolling here so you can see the different types of questions they have. There are recommended questions and your favorites. So I'm going to go back up here and choose a couple of things to add to my favorites. I love to talk about laws at my house, so I'm going to go ahead and add that one and see what my kids think. So let's open up one and see what it says. Play exciting football but lose or play boring football and win. So they give you a suggestion on what it helps with and gives you a little bit of guidance, talking prompts. Once you're done, you can say, hey, I completed that. So you can go ahead and see some of the other critical thinking skills, 
Quick starters are good ones because you can complete those relatively quickly. Let's look at stay up all night. So this again helps with creativity and pros and cons of things. I like this take it even further section. If everyone could also stay up all night, does that change your feelings? I'm gonna click on the share button here at the top. It's gonna process that and prepare to share it. So if you wanna share this question with one of your kids or another parent, you can see that there are several different things that you can do. How fast can you name 10 objects in this room? That's a really fun thing to do. Now, once you hit, we did it, it's gonna give you three choices. Good, okay, or could be better. You want to choose one of those so that the app knows what you like, what you don't like, and it'll help with your recommendations later. I'm just going to click remind me later. They're always going to want you to give a rating for that. So now you can see, since I clicked we did it, that I have recently completed tasks in there. Another great feature is if there's something specific you'd like to talk about, like being sad, you can go ahead in the search feature and find a great card about sadness. So here you'll see I typed in sad and it gives me some results. Why do bad things happen sometimes in life? Or 10 emotions. Can you name 10 different emotions? What about cheer up? How can we cheer up other people? Or is it good to always be happy? I like this one. Is it okay to cry? So this helps with when your children are sad and helps them talk about emotions, gives you kind of three question prompts. And if you want to take it further, it says, is it okay to be angry or jealous or sad? And is there any other feeling that it's not okay to have? I love the guidance for parents section as well. These are great questions to talk to your kid about. You can also see some other ones here under mindfulness. What makes you happy? So if you're talking about sadness, then maybe that's a great segue to think about, well, what makes me happy? And if I am sad, how can I do something else that makes me happy? Or you can find out things that make your kid happy. They're consolidating the questions and then they're adding new things as I complete them to the recommendation section. So as you can see here from earlier, I also had my favorites added there, but here are the recently completed questions. When you tap on favorites, you can see there, it gives all your favorites in one spot. Again, let's look at how much it is to subscribe. I don't know if you're watching this later in the year, if the 1999 special will still be running. Again, it's not sponsored, so I don't have any sort of discount code for you. You can take a look here if you, for some reason, wanted to turn notifications on or off, if you wanted to email them, or if you wanted to set your password, you could do that. Maybe you want to go in and give them a rating. Again, right now it only has two. Be sure to check on your app privacy to see what sorts of things that they will receive about you. And I think that's about it. If you made it this far in the video, I would like to thank you for watching and don't forget to click on that notification bell, like and subscribe if you would like to see more videos like these.